viewers, welcome to Island Healthy, a program designed to bring you matters related to health in Dominica. I am your presenter, Rima Alfred. This program will be brought to you on this station this and every Friday. In this segment, a local nutritionist will speak on the importance of eating healthy during the independent season. We will provide you with tips on healthy food choices for the betterment of your general health. Stay tuned. Welcome back. The independent season is a festive time of year, during which a wide variety of Creole dishes are available for consumption. Some of these Creole dishes, though delicious, may contain ingredients which may cause a high level of cholesterol or blood sugar. Nutritionist Nurse Priscilla Prevo says though food is an integral part of the independent season, we should not lose sight of the importance of eating healthy. She is a strong advocate for eating healthy foods such as vegetables and fruits. So food is an integral part of the independence celebration. However, it is important that we ensure that even during the independence celebration that we eat healthy. We have a lot of local foods and a lot of health foods are available as well. And during the independence season, it's a time too that we have a lot of local fruits in season at this time, like for instance, you have oranges, there is avocado, there is um, popo, there is the usual ripe banana, and there are local fruits available. In recent times, there has been a rise in high cholesterol cases on the island, and quite a few of people affected are unfortunately unaware. Eating unhealthy foods can lead to increased incidence of chronic non-communicable diseases, which is a growing concern here in Dominica. In an effort to curb the increase of these diseases, the Ministry of Health has embarked on a number of educational programs to sensitize the public on the importance of eating healthy. The public are also advised to include exercise in their daily routines. The local nutritionists further express the importance on decreasing animal products in the daily diet. Increasing the intake of plant products is also encouraged. What I have noticed in Dominica that we have quite a number of persons with elevated cholesterol levels and many people are not even aware what their cholesterol level is. And of course we know that eating um, cholesterol is found in, in, in your body, your body produces cholesterol, but it is also found in animal foods. And uh, if we consume high or large amounts of animal foods, then our blood cholesterol levels will be elevated, which puts us at risk for either heart disease or uh, stroke. So while we, during the independent season, it is important that we do not focus too much on the on, on the meat kind because I believe we are taking in much more than what we require, but we can focus on, on, on the plant foods like the fruits, the vegetables, try to increase the amount of vegetables that we take in in our diet. It, it will be better not to fry. So you can bake instead of fry. You can steam, you know, instead of, of, of frying. So like instead of fried fish, you could have steamed fish, you know, as opposed to fry. You could also do um, uh, baked, baked dishes. Um, you can also use oil and um, water to saute instead of um, oil. As part of activities marking Wellness Month in Dominica, ENT specialist Dr. Irving Pascal presented his thoughts at a community discussion on the topic of traditional foods and herbs. During his presentation, he gave tips and advice to members of the Salisbury community about staying healthy. We must know what is considered uh, for, for now a healthy lifestyle. There may be four basic things for a healthy lifestyle. A good diet, regular exercise, 
um, rest, appropriate rest, enough rest, and well, I, maybe I should have said it first, and breathe in proper air. So the two things you need is air to breathe. If you, if, you have, if you cannot breathe, if you don't have any oxygen, you can't live. If you don't have any food, you can't live. And in addition to that, regular exercise and enough rest, those are the four main aspects of a healthy lifestyle. So we say health is a state of physical, mental, and social well-being. Wellness, on the other hand, and this is maybe a little more difficult, wellness is an active... The Ministry of Health also played a key role in educating the public on the importance of healthy nutrition. A nutrition training program held in the village of Salibir at the Salibir Health Center was conducted by nutritionist Marini Stitt. The training activity took place over a six-week period. During the training exercise, 15 participants were involved in learning and teaching activities on topics such as diabetes, meal planning, food groups, to name a few. Nutritionist Marnie Teet gave an overview of the program. The participants of this program were engaged in teaching and learning activities outlined in topics like prevention and management of diabetes, the importance of serving sizes, the knowledge of the six food groups in the Caribbean, their sources, their nutritive value and deficiencies related to them, meal planning and preparation using the multi-mix principle, feeding the preschool child with specific emphasis on healthy snacks, alcohol use and abuse the importance of physical activity in maintaining health and wellness. During a graduation ceremony, the participants received certificates of completion and displayed samples of some of the healthy foods and snacks prepared. And that's all folks for this edition of Island Health View. Be sure to join us next Friday for another edition. Until then, I am your presenter, Rima Alfred. Thanks for watching.